Good evening and thank you for joining us for our special election night coverage. We're following several races throughout the night right now, taking a look at Nebraska Congressional District 2. 3 News Now reporter Isabella Basco is live with candidate Tony Vargas's campaign. But first, we go to Alex Whitney, who's live with Republican candidate Don Bacon's campaign. That's right, the polls are just ready to close here in Nebraska, and while we don't have any results yet, this race between Don Bacon and his challenger, Tony Vargas, is expected to be a tight one. We spoke with Congressman Bacon earlier, and he said that he hopes his record of conservative leadership in the House will lead him to another victory tonight with key issues like abortion and inflation at the top of voters' minds. Bacon said his campaign is comfortable with the potential for a tight race. It's a place they've been before. Bacon won tight races against Brad Ashford in 2016 and another tight race against Kara Eastman in 2018. And he thinks he can do it again here tonight. Bacon told us, though, he is expecting Vargas to surge early, but says he expects to be the winner by the end of the night. We saw a very high turnout in areas of vote high for me, much higher than the other parts of our district. So that's probably, and we're seeing that all over the country where the Republican areas are turning out, whether it's Florida right now and some of the early returns out in the East Coast. And so we like what we're seeing, but I, I do want to say the early votes will be the, the first votes count will be the early votes. They'll be leaning more Democrat, and then you're going to see the today's votes. And I think you'll see those our numbers going up with each count. Now, election night really just beginning. We'll get these first results here in just a few minutes, and then we'll have a better idea of how tight this race will be here moving forward. But stay tuned to 3 News Now. We'll be giving you all the updates and all of the election night results as they start to roll in. From here at the Marriott, Alex Whitney, 3 News Now. Thank you, Alex. Let's bring in 3 News Now reporter Isabella Basco, who's live with Democratic candidate Tony Vargas's campaign. Isabella. Well, right now, it's the waiting game. It's more people, we're waiting more people to join in here at the election night party here at the Embassy Suites downtown on 10th Street. Now, we haven't talked to Vargas here just yet. We're told by his campaign that he's spending some much needed time with his family. But one person that we did talk to was Denise Powell, the director of the Women Who Run Nebraska. She says they've been supporting him since the primary. I'm really excited about the idea of having our first Latino congressman. It would be amazing. Um, we're just thrilled for everything that Tony represents and everything that we know he will do for women and girls in our country and in our state. And Powell says that she's confident that Vargas will support legislation that supports other women, whether that's health care or education. We're going to stick around here for the rest of the night and show you what's happening. But for now, live in Omaha, Isabella Basco, 3 News Now. Our thanks to Isabella and to Alex. And Alex mentioned it. We are minutes away from polls closing in Nebraska and Iowa. If you're in line, you get to vote. But that cuts off at 8 p.m. And look for the first vote tallies on the bottom of your screen shortly. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again at 825.